Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to stop Facebook and Instagram from using your personal information to train AI. One of the things that Facebook loves doing is to use whatever information is on their public domains, meaning that it's the information that you're posting to both F Facebook and Instagram. When you agree to that terms of service, it means that Facebook can use whatever they want in order to get access to your personal information. It's a sad fact, but remember that when these large technology companies are allowing you access to free toys, that means that you're giving them access to your personal information. Whatever you post on social media, it means that they have access to that data. Now, as I am trying to show you what you can do to protect yourselves, I'm trying to bring up a website that's kind of hidden that will allow you to stop AI or not AI, but from Meta, from using your data to train its AI system. And it is hidden. So let me bring over the website that you need to take a look at on Meta. It's in their help section. And for the life of me, I cannot find that information. So let's switch, go to our desktop. And as you can see, here is the generative AI data subject rights. Now, the reason this form has popped up on the website is because in Europe, Facebook has been sued for using personal information. So they have a section that says, well, you can opt out of this, but it doesn't mean that they're going to make it easy for you to find. So if you pay attention to the URL in the upper, upper left hand corner, there it is. Facebook.com forward slash help contact and then there is the one two two six six zero two five two zero seven six two zero nine one eight website which will take you to the generative ai subject rights now before you get upset with me for reading off that information understand that i tried to look in meta's help section to find out how to turn this information out and I could not find it. So if you're watching this video, make sure to make note or pause at the screen so that you can find this website. Now, what it does is that, or what the form does is it says it allows you to submit requests related to your personal information from third parties being able to train Meta's, Meta's generative AI. And so when we talk about generative AI, Essentially, Meta is using a tool like ChatGPT to train its website in order to utilize generative AI to make it much better. Now, that's one thing if you volunteer to allow that to happen, but it's another thing if they're doing it on their own. Also goes on to say information from third parties include what's publicly available on the Internet and licensed information that someone else owns or and gives Meta permission to use. Now, looking above at the statement above what I just read, it says, in general, personal information is information about you. Examples include your name, home address, phone number, or email addresses. Now, do you want Meta having that information without your permission? Well, of course not. So you need to do something about it. So. It goes on to read, we don't automatically fulfill requests sent using this form. We review them consistent with your local laws. So enter your details below to submit your request. What best describes you? Let me highlight this section so that you can see it. We'll do it one at a time. So number one, are you, I want to access, download, or any information, uh, Oh, I want to access, download, or correct any inf personal information from third party 
used for training Meta's generative AI. Maybe that is you. Or I want to delete any personal information from third parties used by Meta's training generative AI models. Or I have a concern about my personal information from third parties that is related to a response I have received from Meta's generative AI. And then finally, I got a different issue. Now I would encourage all of you to, I want to delete any personal information from third party vendors. And of course, well, you can't see it, but support assistant from Dell is telling me that there's an update available. Now, after I'm done with this video, I'm obviously going to do it. But for right now, let's get to the mission at hand as far as Meta is concerned. So once you select, I want to delete any of my personal information, put what country you're from, your first name, last name, and email address. And then to address your request, we need information about whether Meta's generative AI models have knowledge of you. Please provide any prompts that you have entered. So let's see if Meta has any information about me. I have a feeling that does, but it like rotates from time to time. So give me a second and I'll give you an idea of what we're talking about. So I'm going to chat, uh, dot openai.com. Let me get back to our page and put in this. Tell me, or can you tell me, can you tell me Let's see if it's going to work. So sometimes this comes up, sometimes it doesn't. And now as it's knowledge base of January, 2022, uh, it says that it doesn't have inf any information. Um, and I can ask it another question. Yeah, if I could spell. Okay, we're typing that in. We're going to do one more query and see if it knows about me. Oh, here we go. Sometimes it's all about the prompt. And where did ChatGPT get this information? It was fed to it, but fed to it from where? Now, it may bring up more information if I was using a paid version of ChatGPT, which is ChatGPT4. Now, one other thing I'm going to look at is, if I can spell it right, Copilot by Microsoft. Let me do a quick Google bring up Copilot by Microsoft since it's using um, on its copilot.microsoft.com. There we go. We're at the website. Let's see what Copilot knows about me. Let me switch screens to the desktop and type in, tell me about, and here we are. Type it in our prompt and let's see what Copilot says. Ah, oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Where did that information come from? And I have to say, this is utilizing ChatGPT4 and it, oh, now this is scary. That's almost accurate. And if you are a YouTuber, obviously I need a little bit more subscribers, but I'm above that now. But anyway, there it is scouring the internet, which ChatGPT4 does, and getting information from all sorts sorts of sources. So if you don't want your information to be included in generative AI, it's a good idea that you may want to go in and fill out Meta's form about generative AI. Let's get back to the desktop. You can put in screenshots, you can put in relevant information to show that it is picking up your information. So if you don't want Meta to have that and you are showing up in generative AI, there is a website that you can go to in order to make sure that information is not popping up. Now, there are some other things that you probably need to do as far as making sure Meta isn't getting your personal information. So um, you can safeguard your account by doing the following. So let's go back to our desktop. Let's go to my Facebook account. And I will say, and go back to me, that this is done easier 
on a computer than it is a smartphone. So log into your ancient old computer and do the following. So you want to go to the icon in the left hand, excuse me, right hand corner. Once you're there, you want to click on settings and privacy. Once you're there, click on settings. Once you're in settings, it will bring up your settings and privacy manager. Now, things that you want to do is to make sure that you've updated your password and security and turned on two-factor authentication to protect your online account. But one of the things that I'm looking for under Meta is not ads payments. Where is, well, access your information. You want to download that. But scrolling through this, I want, let's see if I can find this. We want to go to the account center. So once we click on account center, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. Then we want to go to the ad preferences. Once we're under ad preferences, then we can go in and change our ad details. Now, sometimes when you look at ads on Facebook, you might not realize that you're looking at a particular ad. Um, and it could be in an ad basically is a boosted post. So if you're looking at posts on both meta meaning facebook and instagram you can change the settings for your ad preferences to turn those off like i don't know who kathy hollowell is or some of these people but obviously i've clicked on ads and i may not want ac ac them to access that stuff now you can see advertisers you saw ads from and you can go in and modify it so that you don't see those ads. Or let's go back here. You can go back to a particular ad. It says you can save or report this ad. You can hide ads from this advertise, advertiser, uh, but then there is the detail. So if you wanna hide ads, click on hide ads from specific advertisers, and that will help secure your meta account a little bit more. Because now when you go to the ad center, one thing I forgot about, this not only impacts your accounts for Facebook, but then it also does meta technologies like Facebook, Instagram, and Meta Horizons. So there you go. It's all the meta products and you can do it in one fell swoop by going to the Meta's, Meta's account center. So there you have it. If you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below of how you can stop these generative AI tools from gathering your personal information. Now keep in mind, more generative AI tools are getting are gaining access to the web. So sometimes, unless you just go to specific websites, it may be impossible for you to block AI to find some of those utilities because it's just not a built-in database anymore. It's also a database that is scouring the internet. But it also helps too that when you do searches on, on AI sites that you don't put in your personal information like I just did because that helps feed the beast as far as AI is concerned. Now, with, now if you enjoyed this video, I invite you to comment, like, or share it with your friends because I know that you have people in your life that struggle with technology and you're probably tired of answering all their tech questions. So you can send them to me and I'll be sure to make sure that they, they are helped out. Now with, um, <laughs> with every video, my purpose is to help you gain more knowledge for the technology you use at home and at work. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.